correspondent Jessica Saltz joins me live now from Berlin. Uh, and Jessica, Germany's been on the receiving end of these sorts of comments from, uh, from Trump before. How has it responded this time? Well, yes, Bell, Germany's been the recipient of barbed comments from Donald Trump since before he even became president. But his recent swipe at what he said was Germany's over-reliance on la uh, liquid natural gas from Russia has been causing a lot of frustration here in Germany. Uh, his comments that Germany was a captive of Russia struck a personal nerve with Angela Merkel. She gave her response to the press when she entered the conference yesterday. I want to Given the occasion, I want to say that I myself have experienced a part of Germany controlled by the Soviet Union. And I'm very happy today that we are united in freedom as the Federal Republic of Germany and can thus say that we can determine our own policies and make our own decisions. And that's very good, especially for the people in the former East Germany. This frustration is really also echoed in Germany. Uh, energy experts quick to point out in the media here that Trump got his numbers wrong, that actually Germany only gets less than 20% of its energy sources from liquid gas from Russia, and a lot of confusion over tr why Trump made these comments. Um, is it because Trump, the businessman, would prefer if Germany was buying liquid gas from Russia, or is he trying to create some sort of political uncertainty ahead of his meeting with Vladimir Putin in Helsinki? Trump also took aim at what he said was uh, Germany's insufficient spending on defence. And here the issue is more complicated. As Bundestag President Wolfgang Schäuble pointed out, whilst he doesn't agree with the way Donald Trump communicates, on the issue of defence he's not exactly wrong. Because at spending only 1.24% of GDP on defence, Germany is under the 2% target. And although we had Merkel and Defence Minister Ursula von der Leyen try to explain it this yesterday, it does remain a contentious issue. Not least because the the idea of defence spending in Germany is incredibly unpopular. Since the Second World War, uh, Germans really don't want to spend more on their military. This has been a consistent feeling here. As the former leader of the Social Democrats, Sigmar Gabriel, tweeted yesterday, if Germany did increase its spending to 2% of GDP on defence, then it would become one of the biggest military powers. Is this what he, we want, he asked. And the overwhelming f feeling in Germany is that it isn't, and therefore the increased uh, spending on defence is really a tough sell for any political leader in Germany. Um, in a wider context, what does all this uh, mean for German-US uh, relationships going forward? Well, relations between Washington and Berlin are really the lowest they've been in decades. When Obama was in the White House, the USA in many ways was one of uh, Germany's closest allies. Uh, Merkel and Obama spoke weekly and they, were, they worked very closely together. And this really bolstered her popularity at home. The friendship with Obama was something that Germans were very proud of. And it really uh, helped her position as a world leader. But she really seems to have an opponent rather than an ally on the White House now. And especially when I speak to trade and industry leaders here who tell me they're worried about impending trade war with the USA, uh, it really is threatening Angela Merkel's position and the way she is viewed as a leader here.